Hi guys, Retro Django here. Today I got some compact flash solutions for my for my Amiga 4000s. I'm used to use these on my Amiga 1200, Amiga 600. They work great. Uh, you just uh, plug in a ribbon cable here and on the Amiga 1200's uh, main motherboard and, and it works and put in a compact flash adapter here. But uh, and they are really really cheap but I have recently a couple of days ago I found about this solution it eliminates the ribbon cable and I really really like that um, so this got a female connection here and it just plugs directly down on the Amiga 4000's motherboard which is great it needs some power here and uh, when I bought it, I just saw a picture like this and uh, I got it home for a couple of hours ago and I just unpacked it right now and I found out that it's got a another compact flash card connection on the back side. So um, that's great. It's got green LED that says card detect. It's got a red LED that says active. I think when it's, it's loading then that it will blink and the red one is power. Then it's got located two jumpers, jumper one and jumper two. Real nice card here. And on the back side it says model number HX100 and what? 168 CFIDE40. So auto detect power supply, IDE pin 20 or external. All right, jumper one, it's on one and two, it's on master and slave, which is default. And what's it say? Jumper two is power voltage. One to two is five volt, two to three is 3.3 volts. Now, I don't know <laughs> how many volts of power a compact flashcard needs, but as you can see, it says default on plus five. So jumper two should be on one and two. And it is, all right. Um, so I just, I'm just i just gonna give it some power and a compact flash card and uh, install it in my, in my Amiga 4000 and uh, see how it works. And I really like the idea of uh, the backside, backside here so I can uh, put in some files from my computer over here um, on an Amiga formatted compact flash, I hope. <laughs> I don't know uh, how else. Uh, I don't. I have never had any use for it, but uh, it's great. It's there. Or we could use it to just an extra drive, copying files from one Amiga to another. Uh, it's great, guys. It. I think it costs five or six euros. I bought a bunch of them. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, that's great. So let's install one of these in my Amigas, Amiga 4000s, and then check them out. All right, I just installed the compact flash card reader and gave it some power. Put on my 60 gigabyte compact flash card. And I hope when it loads, the middle LED lights up, but also um, also this light uh, on the, f oh, oh yes, it flashes, oh nice. Little detail, but I, ju uh, I just like it that way. All right, guys. Oh yes, let's enter workbench and um, oh, damn, it's fast. First time ever using a uh, Amiga 4000 uh, with the uh, O. 40. Uh, I, I'm used to use the um, Amiga 1200 with my 030 40 megahertz uh, processor. So this is first time. Let's check out the what's it called system. Sys info. There we go. I'm anxious to know because uh, we just checked the memory. 16, 64, and two. All right, let's try the speed here because um, all these processors they say 
all 40, blah, blah, 25. Is it 20? Yes, it is 25 megahertz. All right, all right. So we got two megabyte chip RAM, all 40, 25 megahertz. It's got the FPU installed. Comment motor rolling, <laughs> rolling. And all the caches are on and we are at, uh, again, this should be 1.00, but it's just a little, a tad under. It can be because of some of my, it can be because of the chip RAM here, it's slower or some of the fast RAMs, I don't know, but uh, it should be 1.0 down here. But, but it's okay, I mean, it, it's, it's fast enough for me. 18 MIPS, I don't know what it is, M, M flops. Yeah, it's about 30 times faster than an Amiga 600. It's enough. Okay, um, let's quit this. And enter configuration, what's that? Config kickstart ROMs. No, I'm not gonna play with that. Configure setup here. Hardware. Use Blizzard. No. This is 3640. Not the ACA, not the Furia. Use FPU. Uh, yes, we have FPU installed. Use OS patches. Don't know. Just leave it. <laughs> Uh, boot sequence. Yeah, WSD load. Quick key, that must be F10 over here. All right. So. Okay. Let's just try and see if the WHD load games work now. I will just reset the machine. Ah, oh, it's great. So it's got the slave uh, down uh, on, on the back side, so I can actually transfer some new stuff. Um, not that important. I actually didn't check that out when I bought this, so it, it's just a nice feature, you know. But I really like that uh, the, the LED lights up down there, but also in the, in the front. So that, that's really, really nice, guys. All right, uh, Mige Boot Game Selector. What? Oh, I should press enter. Two seconds, guys. <laughs> I love this 64 megabytes of uh, fast RAM on the Mige 4000 here. I'm really looking forward to, to make some benchmark with I got Cyberstorm and oh here we go. So we have to select games now it will There we go! Alright, so let's try Let's try Chaos Engine. Cannon Father Oh Chaos Engine there we go, AGA from 1993. Oh, the menu scrolls really, really fast. Uh, again, we put the F10 on, uh, quit on F10 key, so that's nice. Oh man, it's just so fast. Uh, the old 40, I, I hope it's, uh, it's uh, as compatible with the uh, with WSD games, just like the O30 is, because O30 is really, I don't ever think I had any problems with the uh, with the uh, WHD load games. So I think all of I have a lot of these 3640. I think they are all 25 megahertz. But these ones say uh, 040 RC something something 40. So this I think this Cyberstorm 2 is an 040 with 40 megahertz. It would be Great guys, as you can see, all oh, oh, let me just also that cyberstorm also says we can just 
look at it here. You can see this one says, it says turn around and you can see 25E, that means it's 25 megahertz or 40. Careful now. And this monster over here, I just, I just love this one. It says 40M, so this is 040, 40 megahertz. I'm really looking, and, and with 128 megabytes of RAM. I mean, I'm gonna make a separate video with this. I just wanted to get the get the compact flash card reader home first, but this is <laughs> I just I mean there's just something magical about this uh, Cyberstorm card. I didn't know anything about them for a week ago, but uh, I have been reading about them and they they are very popular. Some say they are the best accelerator cards for the Amiga 4000 and and the price tags on these are uh, I mean they're just crazy. And these 040s, they can actually be upgraded to, to uh, 060, uh, 50 megahertz or whatever. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play with uh, either this or the um, careful again or this one. The what's it called? Uh, again, Cyber Storm MK2. I'm gonna play with them for a week or two just to check if it's compatible, just like the 030. It's important for me because I have read that the O40 is, I don't know if I should say as bad, but it's as compatible as the O60. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to take all this out. So F10 should quit. Yep, it quits really, really fast. Let's check out Turkane. The speed of this machine is just incredible. I don't know if it's because of uh, only uh, upgrading to the 040 or because of all these RAM. I mean, look at this. I think it's awesome. And this game, oh yes. All right, guys. I just want to say uh, thank you for watching th uh, this review about this little um, compact flash card device. I mean, it. I don't remember how much I paid, uh, five or seven euros or something like that. It was really, really cheap. Just needs uh, five volts here, and uh, the flash thing works here and also on the on the front of the Mega, and uh, it's got. You can set dual card out. It says it's not hot swappable, just like the ACA 500. But you could you could get some uh, files from your PC and put it on here on the back side. I have to try it. Uh, this video was just about this little device, but um, I just love you. Just plug it down on the main board, and I just love that it's so fast. It, just auto config it, it, it loads and um, works great guys so thumbs up from retro Django uh, retro Django here um, yeah have a nice day guys I'm gonna play some Turk and 3 bye